What's going on guys, it's Finest Fellas here. On today's video, I'm finishing off my mini series of heroes that I wanted to see in Year 2 of For Honor. Today we're talking about the samurai that I want to see in For Honor's Year 2, and we're starting right now. Now this video will not be like the others that I've done in the series so far, as most of the heroes that I have chosen last time had historical references to them. This time, these characters may or may not have existed in Japanese history, so it's pure speculation and just really a fantasy of the characters that I want to see. So first up for the samurai is the katana hero. Now I have noticed with most of the samurai in this game that actually very few of them are wearing armor, or what we would consider to be armor, you know, plate or chainmail, any form of armor like this. Therefore, I suggest to you the katana hero, a heavily armored warrior with expert skill with his katana. This man would be wearing only the finest of armor that his province had to offer. Master crafted, okay? I'm talking like real shiny shit, okay? Which would make him very difficult to take down. Similar to our Lawbringer, you know, he's not a heavy character, but he's still an absolute brute on the battlefield, you know? So he's gonna be fairly maneuverable. Yeah, okay, he, he'll not be a great sprinter, but he's still, still gonna be able to dodge around the battlefield, just like the Lawbringer. He's gonna be able to take punishment and dish punishment out as well. Now, as far as the moveset for this character, he would play very similar to our Orochi. You know, the Orochi with the, the katana, two-handed sword, you know, he's, he's gonna be zipping around. And I have a little bit of footage from a game that I play, Shogun 2 Total War, and it would be very good for showing off his fighting style a little bit. So here we go guys, rolling the footage for you now. So as you can see, he would be agile and vicious with some very fancy emotes. This character would be an, an absolute fantastic addition to the samurai roster. Next up is the Yari Samurai. Okay, this Bushido warrior armed with the Yari Spear. The Yari were characterized by a straight blade that could be anywhere from several centimeters to three feet or more in length. The blades were made up of the same steel that traditionally Japanese swords and arrowheads were forged with, and were very, very durable. Throughout history, many variations of the straight yari blade were pr produced, often with protrusions on a central blade. Yari blades often had an extremely long tang. Typically, it would be longer than the sharpened portion of the blade. The tang protruded into a reinforced hollow portion of the handle, resulting in a very stiff shaft, making it nearly impossible for the blade to fall or break off. So as far as combat for the Yari Warrior, of course, you'd be using many thrusting attacks. You know, with a spear, you would imagine you would thrust quite a, quite a bit. Similar again to our Lawbringer, I want this character to have an initial thrust attack. But instead of pushing the opponent backwards, you know how he charges into you with a heavy attack and he just pushes you away? Well, for the Yari Warrior, I want his initial attack to be similar to this, but I want it to be very, very damaging. You know, almost as much damage as a heavy attack. So it would be best for you not really to get charged by the Yari Warrior, because not only are you going to be taking a huge amount of damage, you'd also be pinned by this attack. Now, other moves, such as striking the limbs, would be very interesting. And this could inflict, like, bleed or stamina damage. So with the Naginata warrior that we have, the Nobushi, you know, it'd be very, very interesting to see that the Yari Samurai have very specific animations where he would strike the arm or the leg, the underarm or neck of his opponent, inflicting either bleed or stamina. Alright, now from what I've seen with the Yari Spear video techniques that I've seen, like I've seen lots of videos on YouTube where people are showing off the Yari Spear against like the swords. This spear is a lot about disabling your target, such as like I said, going for the legs, arms, or the neck. 
a fighting style with this sort of animation would be very, very cool to add to For Honor. And last, but certainly not least, we have the third and final character that I want to see for the samurai, and that would have to be a warrior monk. Okay, now I play again, taking it from a game that I play, Total War Shogun 2. You have the option of recruiting a specialized Bushido warrior called a Warrior Monk. You can arm these men with the Naginata Spear, which we already have with the Nobushi, or you can recruit them as bowmen. I would really like to see this character in For Honor. Now, a little bit of history from them is these Buddhist samurai fanatics are some of the most powerful foot soldiers on the battlefield. These elite warriors have no equal. Men armed with the Naginata and Katana will slice through their opponents with speed and accuracy. Now, as far as customization for this guy, he could be dressed with a white turban or a shawl that would cover his face and shoulders. And I'll pop up a couple photos here, you know, so you can see what he looks like. He'll have very unique customization options that you can equip with this guy. For example, different colored turbans or shoals, for example, you know, so you can represent a certain clan or faction, you know, maybe like the Blackstone Legion turban, which would be really cool with the Season 5 updates that we've had. Now, as far as his fighting style is concerned, I would really like this character to use a two-form combat system exactly like we have with the Highlander. However, Form 1, defensive. And I want him to use his Naginata Spear. Alright, and I want him to use blocks and parries to effectively counterattack. Use area attacks to keep the enemy at range with his spear, okay? Now, on the flip side of the coin, the monk will have form 2. Instead of defense, this will be an offensive form. Purely offense. This will be where the monk, he'll either drop the Naginata or he'll put it on his back. This where he will draw his katana. In Form 2, the katana will be used with swiftness and power in using rapid slashing combos. I want this warrior to be a very big threat in Form 2, where you either smack him out of it or just stay away from him until he runs out of stamina, exactly like the Highlander. And that's it for today's videos, guys. If you enjoyed the video, then please give it a like. Now, as far as the comment section, I am really, really curious what kind of samurai heroes you would like to see in Year 2 of For Honor. Let me know in the comment section, alright? Let me know. Just throw ideas out there, okay? Because I'm sure there are plenty of ideas you guys are thinking about that I couldn't come up with myself. I would really like to hear what you guys think of that. And until next time, guys, my name is Finest Fellas. I'm signing out for now. I will see you all later on the battlefield. See ya!